Activision CEO Bobby Kotick and Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella are both expected to testify today in the FTC's legal challenge against the company's nearly $69 billion merger. Steve Kovac is here. He joins us with more on this front. And Steve, is this finally a situation where we're going to be looking at, okay, the answer to whether this deal goes through? Um, soon, sooner than later. So it's day four of five of this federal court hearing that will likely determine, like you said, the fate of Microsoft's deal to buy Activision. And this is the big one, guys. CEOs of both companies are going to take the stand. Activision's Bobby Kodak testifying in the morning Pacific time and Microsoft's Satya Nadella in the afternoon. Now, up to now, the FTC and Microsoft arguing over the definition of console video gaming and the cloud gaming markets. And we also heard from Microsoft's gaming boss, Phil Spencer, who framed the deal not around those exclusive console titles, but around the opportunity he sees in mobile gaming. That's the fastest growing gaming market where all the real money is and Microsoft wants a piece of it. Spencer also testifying Microsoft will keep future versions of Activision titles, especially Call of Duty, on PlayStation for at least 10 years. As for Nadella and Codex testimonies today, expect the Microsoft side to get both of the men to commit to keeping those games on rival platforms. And expect the FTC side to point to examples where Microsoft hasn't done that with two other studios it has acquired in the past. Cloud gaming will be the other piece Nadella and Kodak will have to defend. FTC alleges buying Activision will give Microsoft an unfair advantage in subscription gaming services. Now, the San Francisco federal judge will decide the case and will likely need to reach her decision before the July 18th deadline for the deal arrives. And guys, it's still not over after that. Microsoft working through the appeals process still with regulators in the UK who rejected the deal this spring. So hopefully by the end of the summer, we'll get a final answer. So the FTC is basically saying, we don't believe you when you say you're not going to do these things because here's other cases where you didn't. Exactly. This is this is really bizarre. And we've <laughs> so much back and forth. I've listened. There's been three days of hearings so far. I mean, if they say they're going to do it, can't you just hold them to that? Not, not only are they saying they're doing it, they're saying it under oath. Right. Bill Spencer and and offering signed agreements enforceable by a court to, to put Call of Duty on these platforms. The Sony, there's a pre-recorded uh, deposition from the Sony boss, uh, Jim Ryan, who's the head of PlayStation, kind of arguing, well, there's some titles, they haven't included in that, but everyone's focusing on this Call of Duty thing. And so they've offered, and I mean, Sony won't like say yes. It sounds like and like, we're just going to kick and scream and say no? Basically, that's basically, I mean, look, Sony is by, Microsoft does have a point here. Sony is by far the market leader. Right in console gaming and it's kind of ironic to hear the market leader by a mile complaining that they're going to uh, you know have an unfair advantage by buying Activision. So that's what's being quibbled over right now and we're going to really hear for the first time in depth Nadella and Kodak defend this acquisition and defend against these allegations from the FTC which echoes what we've seen in the UK as well. It's it's it it, it, it doesn't make sense. And I mean, look, the irony here also is, Becky, the day this deal was announced a year and a half ago, Lena Khan, the FTC chair mm -hmm. and uh, Jonathan Cantor, the DOJ and address boss, they came out with this idea that we want to, you know, squash these mega mergers before they can even grow every they really want to prevent this idea of another Instagram happening where, you know, a Facebook can come in and buy a competitor before they can grow into the next big thing announced the same day that Microsoft announced this acquisition, and that's why we're seeing so much pushback. Well, Activision Blizzard is hardly Instagram. Of course, I mean, yeah, Activision it's a 69, they're, right. they're paying yeah. 69 billion, not 1 billion, but it's just this idea of a mega deal really scares regulators right now. And look, even if they lose, the, what we hear like from that side- them, it makes them mad. Right, it makes them mad, <laughs> but what we hear from that side is, even if we lose a case like this, it's still a win because, because we're going we mess to, things up. And we, we mess things up, we put a chill on m and right, I mean, we hear from CEOs all the time saying, you know, we, we've reconsidered, you know, buying companies because we don't want the headache. Microsoft gave themselves 18 months to close this deal, and they're still facing this, and they're running right up to the deadline. Jay Clayton Thanks. said that last time he was here. They're just going to, they're going to do, challenge everything, yeah. and just the so they can lose a few. Yeah, and Thanks, then Steve. hope it puts a chill.